Greetings everyone, it's time to connect with Caroline again. I'm here today to talk to you about anger. I know we've all been in critical situations where somebody did something to us that made us very, very angry and at that moment you just feel the urge to respond to whatever they've said to you or the urge to, to react to whatever they've said to you. That particular moment when you feel so hot inside and you feel like if I don't react right now, I'm going to die. If I don't respond right now, I'm going to burst out. If I don't say something, I don't think I will be okay. When you have that burning feeling that is making you, that is forcing you, that is urging you, that makes you want to react, think twice. Think of the devastating effects of the words that you will say because the words that you say when you're angry are not really the things that you will, you will want to say when you are calm. Because the, the words that you say at that time are defined by the anger in you. Those are not words that you can say on a regular basis when you are calm and everything is okay. Those words are driven by the anger within you. So when you feel that moment, I want you to just think of the consequences that those words are going to have, especially on the re receiver. Think of the long-term effects of those words that you're going to say. Maybe you are saying them face to face to somebody. Maybe you are penning them down. Maybe you are typing it on a, a, a text or a letter. Think twice. Put your phone down, put your pen down, take a step back, reflect on the words that you're about to say. Calm yourself down before sending those words because once you click the send button, the deal is done. You can no longer take back the words that leave your mouth. You can no longer take back those words that you've sent. The deal is done. And when those words are out there and the receiver is hurt and they feel like you were not understanding enough for whatever reason that made you angry, whatever the situation may be, when you realize that, oh my God, the words that I just sent I did not really mean them, that will be too late. No matter how you try to um, justify those words, no matter how many times you try to explain yourself, express how sorry you are for using those words, it is late. And the, 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 the relationship can never be the same because it's been damaged by the words that you used. I know I'm emphasizing on the negative effects of this. That is because when you are angry, nothing good comes out of you. <laughs> Whatever you say, it's just angry words, maybe insults even. So those actually will not play too well on the receiver. So at that moment, it is very, very critical for you to listen to your inner voice. For me personally, there are times that when I find myself in that angry mode, I have this inner voice that is telling me to just stop, just stop. And when you start feeling that voice, go with your God feelings, go with that voice because that voice, that's your reminder to make the right decision. That inner voice is that part of you that is telling you that whatever you are about to say right now is going to have consequences.